This is Movie Tone. Jeffrey Sumner reporting. The government's white paper on defence, the most revolutionary peacetime policy ever undertaken, has been drawn up by the Minister of Defence, Mr Duncan Sands. His proposals are expected to save this country well over 100 million. The main economy is in the reduction of manpower in the services. There will be no further call-up after 1960. In future, our forces will be planned on an all-regular basis, with a reserve in Britain and a transport fleet to mobilise it. So, at the end of 1962, there will be 375,000 men in the armed forces, a little more than half the present number. Dramatic modifications are also proposed for the Royal Navy. Many warships in the reserve will be scrapped, including all battleships, with the exception of Vanguard, which for the time being is retained for service with NATO. In future, our Navy will be based on small groups composed of one aircraft carrier and a number of supporting craft. The role of these floating air bases is a significant one in this new pattern of defence. The Royal Air Force Technical College at Henlow, where personnel are instructed in the operation of guided weapons, illustrates another point in the programme. The only deterrent to nuclear aggression is the certainty of retaliation. To achieve this deterrent, we must develop nuclear weapons and maintain them and their operators at a high level of efficiency. It's a far cry from the Spitfire age. We are to develop the H-bomb, the strongest deterrent to any would-be aggressor. Our V-bombers designed to carry these weapons are thus an essential link in defence. The crew of this Valiant are taking her to Christmas Island for the testing of our first H-bomb. A delicate and dangerous task, but the production and testing of the Megaton bomb is the crux of this whole scheme, to deter an aggressor and prevent the likelihood of another major war. What about fighters in the missile age? Well, the supersonic P-1B may well be the last fighter built for the Royal Air Force. In future, manpower will let missiles play the more hazardous part in supersonic strategy. This will be our pattern of defence. An imaginative plan based on the principle that on strength depends our safety. A scheme that economises on expenditure and concentrates on the creation of a sound military deterrent. This is the shape of things to come. Not a design to prepare for war, but to prevent it. <laughs>